that. Damn, this is an extra long. <gasps> no, the stupid staff clue. No, it already happened. Every time a new area is added onto this game, Jagex usually likes to place one or two clue scroll steps there. It's pretty much tradition at this point. So Elf City release a bunch of new areas. They also have a woodlands that's outside the city to the north, right? So they decided to place a new master clue step there. And the new master clue step, as you can see, is a Biro Fighter Staff Requirement Emo Clue. So this one is going to be pretty challenging because to get it is from the Moss Giant boss, 1 in 118. And to even fight the boss, you need to get this Mossy Key, which comes from regular Moss Giants at 1 in 150. So on average, I would have to kill 17,700 Moss Giants to get enough keys to actually get the staff. Now, it's all statistics, right? It's not like you have to kill 118, but your typical grind is going to be about that much. So yeah, it's a big grind. It's a big, big grind. I've been able to do every single Master Clue until this update. I am doing Master Clues because I want to get certain items, mainly the ornament kits for the uh, Zenai jewelries and like the Akal necklaces and stuff as you can see here. So I pride myself in being able to do every single Clue Scroll in the game and not being able to do that is not good. So I'm gonna try my best to get the staff and be able to do all the Clue Scrolls once again. So there are a few places that I can be camping Moss Giants at. So the first popular one is the Pirate's Cove. There's a lot of Moss Giants there. They do have a bit higher HP though, like 80s instead of like the 60. But very cannibal, so probably one of the best spots. There's Moss Giants in the new Elf City dungeon. They're rumored to have a 1 in 50 rate, but they are much stronger. They actually use magic as well. So it's not something you can just like AFK, you know, for long periods of time. But potential. And then there's Moss Giants and Catacombs, probably the least desirable one because you can't cannon them. And yeah, th that means slow kills per hour, right? But ultimately, the place that I'm going to be using the most is definitely the Edgeville Dungeon because they uh, increased the spawn rate some time ago. So there's six of them in a really small area and the cannon just shits on them. So I have a lot of cannonballs, thank God, because I killed a ton of corp. Fortunately for me, I don't really use the cannonballs for anything, so... Finally, we have a use for them. Oh, I got the Moss Giant Key, first one! Alright. Oh, my first long bone. Hell yeah. I'm going to be gathering crucial information so I can figure out how long this grind is going to take overall. So I'm going to figure out how many kills I can do an hour. And also figure out how many cannonballs I'm using an hour. Because those two variables are like the big, big things I have to look out for. Alright, okay. <laughs> I guess I should expect some rare drop tables, huh? Dragon Spear! Alright, this is ridiculous. 545 kills in a little bit under an hour. Holy crap. I mean, dude, my cannonballs are going down so fast, dude. Over three keys an hour, if I'm able to keep up this rate, it's pretty much 90% AFK. Occasionally, I'll fill out the cannonball, maybe, maybe click on a Moss Giant or two. That's about it. So yeah, this is insane. Insane. 47,800. So, I've used about 1,500 cannonballs an hour. Yeah. This is Grand Cannonballs, by the way. Quite a lot. So based on these two pieces of information, I will need to spend about 30 or so hours here to get enough keys to get the Biofighter staff on average. And I have enough cannonballs, just enough cannonballs to last about 30 or so hours here. But this is looking pretty good for me right now. Oh, I got it! Yeah, buddy. Nice. Alright, we got ourselves the fourth Moss Key in this trip. And uh, I'll have to go basically 500 kills over for this. Yeah, we reached 1,000 kills this trip. Holy crap. So I'm going to wrap up with the Moss Giant grind for today. I blew through like, I, I guess, four or 5,000 cannonballs. So yeah, within like two weeks, I'll be done with these cannonballs. God damn. All right, that was much cleaner. You know, I'm starting to get some confidence back. Wait a minute, I just PB'd? Really? 
Okay. All right. I just uh, PB by like 20 seconds somehow. Oh no! Crystal weapon seat. Come on. Oh, I got another leak loose scroll. Okay. Damn, that's insane. Wow. Um. Okay. So I've gone three elite clue scrolls in sixty-six runs. Okay. So I'm pretty sure just blowpipe with void is probably the best DPS for this boss. Outside of maybe the scythe. Just gonna do ten keys at a time. Should have killed one originally. Yeah. For the music kit. All right. Let's go do this. All right. This is the last key. Eight hours worth of key grinding. And I get a white berry for the finisher. But yeah, the results of eight hours of uh, Moss Giant kills. Uh, I got about 500k worth of loot. Feels good, man. I'm gonna drop this master here because there's a chance I might get another one. So I can suicide and keep the master for an hour on the ground. This one, and I can do the other one. So let's see what we get. I don't even want to do regular elites, just because they don't give me anything I really need anymore, but it's okay. Alright, we got it. Alright, so I had seven food. Seven food, though. It's not as good as the first one I did with the tier one. Wait, what? Why did you just give me another one of these? I, just, I put it in my house. Monka. Alright, that was a bit clutch, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta clutch, you know what I'm saying? Another Elite Clues Grow? Alright, I'm pretty convinced that, uh, clearly the gauntlet is crazy when it comes to giving out Elite Clues Grow, so. Dude, I, right now, the Tier 2 is not doing much, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm still getting my ass kicked right now. Oh, oh my god, holy shit. I just got uh, six hour logs, Jesus. Wait, what? Did I just get a curved bone? Oh, there it is, holy shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, this kill is under four minutes, Jesus Christ. Oh, wait a minute. Crystal weapon seed again? Oh, come on, dude. All right, guys, day two, we are starting off with 25 KC. So let's go and uh, use all my 18 keys that I got. And battle staffs, 40 KC. No, damn. Okay, well, I mean, this is my best inventory. Tier two armor, tier three weapons, and full inventory food. Holy crap, dude! This is insane. I'm gonna have 40 seconds to spare. <clears throat> oh, there it is, another elite clue scroll. What I can get this time? Show me something decent here. Oh, I did get an actual master clue. Okay. Okay, should be on the ground. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, thanks, Jim, for helping me out here. Okay, here we go. Master clue. Here we go. Want to make it? Oh, I can't. Oh, the chest turned out to be the mimic. Oh, I thought I couldn't open it because I had this on, but... Oh, that was quite easy. Second KC. Thanks for the mahogany plank. Oh, what the frick is this, man? Just an extra reward. Um, 500 blood runes for extra reward. Nice. Okay, bud. Okay, bud. Ah, everyone's here. God damn, the moss giant uh, freaking grind is real, dude. Oh, boy, I just had to hop a few worlds, you know, just to find a spot. Damn. Haha. <laughs> So I have here a graph of some of the actively traded prices for the Biofatter staff. So as you can see for a long time, it's just been 2.8 mil, you know, it's been the same, stable. And then around July 24th, that's when the Elf City came out with the new Clue Scroll update. Woof, the price is just well, shot all the way up to currently at 9 million. So yeah, this thing basically just tripled, doubled in price just because of a Clue Scroll requirement. All right, ignore the the crazy amounts of thunder. I gotta find myself my third curb. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, and a snapdragon. Cool. All right, I'm completely okay with that. Three curb bones, 
I can't wait to show you guys how many bones I've gone, how many uh, snapdragons, how many renards, and all that stuff by the end of this grind, dude. It's gonna be really interesting from all of it. All right, so we are at uh, 19 long bones, three curved bones, 10 snaps, 81 renard seeds, and uh, one torso. Mm, cool. We are going to be doing half half work on some older goals, mostly on the pet hunting slash slayer side. Been working on a lot of corrupted gauntlet, but it is really tilting to do them all day. So this is a good balance. Right now we got a smoke devil task. We are 800, 900 KC over the pet rate. So yeah, man, this one is a pet that we've been looking to get for a while now. Here we go. Elites from the smoke devil boss. Oh, what the hell? I just got a big pirate hat? I don't have that. I've never gotten that before. Or Matey? Cool. I look kind of cute. Oh, oh my god, that was so fucking close. Yikes. Oh my god, that was so clutch though. Shit, this guy got the blade, dude. You know what? You're going on YouTube, man. Say hello. Make sure you write the comment on your on the YouTube video. Oh, that's a nice sword. Can't wait to get that and uh, test it out a bit. You know, have some fun with it. But yeah, it looks nice, man. Congrats on the on the blade. Damn, dude. That was another completion. Damn, bro. Five corrupted in a row without fail. Easy game. Alright, so 30 minutes before the uh, bunny update's happening, and um, yeah, they are patching the save spot. Well, you can kind of save spot with another account. I mean, it's still doable without another account trapping it. You can just run around a circle for 20 minutes, and honestly, this isn't really like a real boss, and I'm just way too lazy now at this point. I'm just going to get the, you know, the little grail thing, the holy grail thing from the rabbit. Yeah, it's a really bloody rabbit. Oh, one more hit. Come on, boys. This is it. I do. It messed you up. You Yo, the hardest content in the game True. is about to be defeated by safe spotting. Let's go. Come on. All right, ACB spec. Nope, I don't need it. Nice. What's the drop? What's the drop? Oh, my God. You got it. Crystal Grill. 11 mil. You know, this is probably one of the craziest money makers. Well... Oh, dude, you, it's gonna be insane money because now people can't say spot it. Okay, well, I just got the Hydra task, eh? I honestly want to get this pet fast as hell because I'm not a big fan of doing Konar Slayer tasks. Alright, probably the last kill of the day. Surprise me. Oh. Okay, another day, another so, try. The Gauntlet got some changes. Well, just on the uh, final boss, the Hunlift, so. They made it so that you get less punished, less damage taken with the right prayer, but you get more punished, more damage taken if you don't have the right prayer on. But I think that will obviously make the overall boss fight a bit easier, so. Okay, well, I guess tier 1 is definitely the way to go. I mean, I'm going to have so much more time getting food. So, basically, I can kind of just brute force it. If I get tier 1, I will have plenty of time to get a, so much food. The only time I take a lot of damage is if I fuck up my prayers. Wait, that was a 500k loot? Really? Whoa, I got hella lucky, dude. I got 500k loot from that corrupted mode. I don't think they buffed the drop. I just got lucky, I guess. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, so much easier. Probably faster, too, as well. If you're willing to gun hold this. Alright, one last hit. Oh, oh my god, I just got hit at 56. Damn, that was such a slow fight though, 4 minutes. 60, Corrupted KC, and uh, yeah. Haven't gotten anything in 60 Corrupted, man. Hey, very nice. Got ourselves another uh, personal best. Not bad. Uh, yeah, I can see myself going under 9, no problem. Just catch, just doing it normally. Because that's your best shot of Oh my god, I just got a champion scroll. The fuck? Where? Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Giant champion scroll. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that's my first. Yeah, it's new. I've never gotten it before. <laughs> I mean, I've killed how many Moss Giants? Like 9,000 so far? Or eight or 10,000? 
Yeah. Yeah, I've killed. I've gotten 70 keys. So that's like 10,000. 20 minutes later. Hell yeah, bro. Oh my gosh, just got another champion scroll. What the fuck? No, dude, that's two in like an hour. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Wow, that's amazing, dude. Holy shit, that's actually amazing. <laughs> I guess that's the average, right? 10,000 mod chance, two champion scrolls, yeah. Holy crap. Okay. Check how many kills we've had. 77, huh? So this is like day four or five. Yeah, day five probably. 22 keys this time. So, yeah, it'll probably get me to like 100 KC today. I might get a key from the boss as well. No! God damn it. Alright, what is the loot? 25 kills. I've made 500k. Yeah. Sometimes we're not always lucky. You get your high and your low, so... The nature staff grind will have to continue on another video. But we have killed about 15,000 moss giants and uh, used about 40,000 cannonballs. So already spent about, I don't know, anywhere between 25 to 30 hours so far. But it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get the staff no matter what. You know, it's set in stone. So anyways, I'll be back with another video on Mr. Iron Bar. Hopefully we'll have staff by then. And hopefully we'll make some progress on the gauntlet. No crystal armor seeds other than the first one that we got. So anyways... Make sure to stay up to date, subscribe for the next video, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll check you guys out in a week. Take care and bye-bye.